All right, welcome to All Day Pass, where we have all day fun. Today we're back at Universal Studios. Today is official grand opening day of Super Nintendo World. But what we're going to do a little different is, so today it is, I think probably the first time I've ever been here on a sold out Universal Studios day. Yeah. So we are going to... Well, we're just used to coming when it's sold out for HHN, so it's going to be different with the entire park. That is very true. So yes, I will take back what I said. It's definitely been sold out on Hollywood Horror Nights before, but on just kind of like a regular day, even though it's a special day, uh, sold out park. So we're going to show you what it's like to be here on a sold out day. Uh, we'll talk about what the wait times look in a little bit, but we want to get through the gate so we can see what it's like. It's almost one o'clock uh, in the afternoon on a day before a holiday weekend, so there's no school today. So we're thinking that might add to it. So join us on this fun. All right, so clearly they've got the red carpet rolled out for Super Nintendo World. Before I get any, any hate comments, obviously, yes, this carpet's always here. Um, but everything is all decorated, advertising, Super Nintendo World. Okay, so we just got through turnstiles and walking down. It really doesn't give me the impression of a sold out day. So I said we would talk about the wait times a little bit and the board is coming up. So if there's not a huge crowd, I'll try to stop there and look at it a little bit. But just to give the spoiler, the longest wait time right now is Mario Kart, which is 120 minutes. The next longest wait time as of five minutes ago was The Simpsons at 35 minutes. That is unprecedented. And I think it's because everybody is probably trying to get into Super Nintendo World, which is why it's so sold out. Plus some people might come in later tonight. So yeah, so here's the board. Down in the lower lot, even Transformers is only 30. You've got uh, Jurassic World is 20 minutes. And then Mario Kart is two hours. As for the rest of it, yep, Simpsons is still 35 and everything else is almost 20-ish or less. Uh, despicable, despicable, despicable me, hard word to say for me, is uh, it just went up to 30. I was at 15 earlier. And because it's such a busy day today, Super Nintendo World is only virtual line. And as of now, like you mentioned at one o'clock, there's no more. So the only way you can actually get into Super Nintendo World right now is if you have a platinum pass and you can get in after 3 p.m. And you do not need a virtual line for that. So we're working our way into the Wizarding World to waste some time. And he, right outside of Wizarding World, as if you could go this way to get to Nintendo World, which you can't. Existing virtual times only. So they're already letting everybody know, don't think you're getting in unless you have that virtual pass already or virtual queue, or you're a platinum pass holder after 3 p.m. So Wizarding World certainly seems to be, you know, busy and popping. It's not so busy where they've got like, you know, single directional walkways, uh, one way areas. Here it kind of opens up a little bit, uh, but it's nice to see, you know, this busy and active, even though the rides again aren't very long. We could probably ride both of the rides right now in under 45 minutes. All right, coming around to Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. I always love this view and advertising a 20 minute wait. All right, so we just got off Forbidden Journey and that 20 minute wait was nowhere near a 20 minute wait. Uh, I started at one minute late walking into it on a stopwatch. So it was a five minute wait. Literally, we just kept walking the whole way. One of the things I do love about Universal is the ride actually went down for a moment as we were in front of one of the screens, so the screen went black, or white, I guess, it went blank. So then uh, we just kind of stopped, but then once we got off, um, the team members at the exit asked if we wanted to get back in line and go again because it went down. So that's really awesome. That's great customer service, but once is good enough, we didn't really miss out on much of the ride. So uh, now we're gonna go out and check out what the rest of the park looks like on this sold out day. All right, after a quick little walk over to the studio tour, that's advertising 15 minute wait. Last tour departs tonight at 8.15, which would be really dark on that tour. That could be fun to try, I suppose. So uh, we're gonna head in and join this crowd. 
showtimes for Water World, a live sea war spectacular. Check wait times for rides and attractions and get details for visiting Super Nintendo World to purchase the NBC Universal movies. All right, so we just got off the studio tour. Uh, there is about 20 minutes before we can get into Nintendo World. Yeah, it's getting a little busier up here. Uh, but generally speaking, I glanced at the wait times when we got off the tour and there's still nothing is crazy except for, of course, uh, Mario Kart. It actually is down to a 60 minute wait. Oh, so maybe we can sneak on. And then the other thing we're really hoping we can do is to eat at Toadstool Cafe since we did not get to do that on the pass holder preview because it was just such a long line. And there's a shot of the studio tour from the escalator and that is also one of the electric trams which we just rode. In fact, that is probably the same one we just got off because the timing works out about right. And of course, being advertised all throughout the park is the Super Mario Brothers movie animated, not to be confused with the 1995, I believe, live action, but it's out in April. So we're just two months away from that. This little guy is super duper excited. So I think we might have to go to the theater to see that one. Oh, and once I clear the corner here, <laughs> all right. So that's where a lot of the crowd is for this sold out day is I can see down there. I don't know what it looks like in Super Nintendo World, but just looking down like outside of the Jurassic Cafe where you can meet Blue, uh, it looks like there's a lot of people down there. So down on the ground level, it definitely is pretty crowded down here. You can move around, but there's a huge line for the snack shop and then Starbucks is pretty full in there, and there's a big gathering over here around uh, the Transformers meet and greet. So right outside of Transformers The Ride 3D, you've got the Area Timed Entry Kiosk. So let's kind of follow this around a little bit and take a look at what we've got. So over here it looks just like stroller parking. And then, let's see, so the area timed entry kiosks. Ah, perfect. So they've got the strollers on this side, mandatory stroller parking. This is where you used to go to walk through the toxic tunnel during horror nights. And then here's what the kiosk looks like. So virtual line, not currently necessary at this time. Proceed directly to entrance of Super Nintendo World. And of course, to the other side of Transformers is the actual entrance. They have it all roped off. There's a gigantic mob forming, as you can see coming this way from the other direction, because everybody like us, we're, they're waiting for three o'clock to drop, so that way the floodgates can open. All right, we are through the, not really turnstile, but they're scanning passes, of course, because they're keeping it strict. Some people were 305, and it is not 305 yet, so they made them wait until the minute. But of course, we are pass holders, so that's how we're getting through here. And this is definitely where a lot of the people are. Oh, goodness. I see a line starts here sign, so we'll have to find out what that line is for, though. All right, so I'm just going to walk around a little bit. We'll show how busy it is in here, as I expected. Um, basically, you know, can't really do much in here. The ride does seem to be down. It's down to a 40 minute wait, so that's probably the fastest thing going on in here. Um, but there's lines and pack people everywhere um at least kind of you know you can see the walkways are kind of walkable but we were just trying to get in line to eat at toadstool cafe and they said they are fully booked up right now because you got to get a little paper slip reservation um which they're out of right now but they said probably in like an hour and a half they will have some more but then who knows what that time would be so unfortunately we're not gonna be able to eat there today and i was excited because they've added a, a mushroom soup now and of course i love mushrooms so 
Uh, we might just kind of check out in here since we've already been here before and then head on out because we could always come back since we have the pass. Um, it's just not really going to be too feasible to stick around in here. All right, Declan found a neat little thing. He's going to, oh, he, he made 8 bit Mario up here. That is super cool how that works. So we're heading into a new area. It looks like it's probably the stairwell to get over to the lookout area. But we haven't really ventured over to this side of the world yet on the previous times we were here, just because it was so busy. Well, let's see. Oh, I see a brick. Oh, okay. This is a cool new area. So I'm gonna come over and get some coins. Nope, now Declan's getting some. He got a bunch of coins. And we found 8-Bit Luigi. So Declan wants to check out, I actually don't know what these are called, uh, but they're, they're, I mean, really, they're basically like telescopes. Uh, binoculars and it looks like they're actually interactive you can turn the little wheels on the side for zooming and it looks like it's actually real and while we're waiting our turn now I can get a really good shot of the lookout from here and this is what a sold out crowd or sold out day of Universal Studios looks like even when it's metered because you had to have reservations uh, the virtual line or have a pass after three o'clock which it is now so a whole lot of more people were able to come in here so my guess is earlier it was probably not anywhere near this busy all right so Declan's stepping up now oh let's see what he sees oh there's a flying Koopa oh it's a game Declan, these little wheels work. There's another look. They zoom. Oh, okay. What are these guys? What are what guys? Oh, goodness. Yeah, Declan found some, like, little dudes. Oh, <laughs> there they are. That's funny. He thought they were digital. Let me see. I know I can zoom a little bit on here, so let's... Yeah, they're like, I don't even know what those are, but the Mario aficionado with us says that those do not belong in Mario. So I wonder if they're from one of the games or something. If you know what those are, let us know in the comments below. Declan found a POW block. As soon as Declan finishes again, then Luigi's gonna get some Luigi. All right, Declan actually happened to notice that right in the middle, kind of where the Mario and Luigi meet and greet are, there's more Pikmins right here. And they actually stole one of the coins up at the top where the Goomba is. So that's interesting. They're in here at least twice. So as fun as it is hanging out with up to 4,000 of our closest friends, since that is capacity for this world, we're gonna hit the tunnel and warp on out of here. All right, so just as we leave uh, the world because it's too busy and we're getting hungry, we see there are now some virtual times available. So right now, 4.10 to 5.10 and 6.05 to 7.05 are available. Okay, so it looks like maybe it kind of rotates or unless it just changed. 
as I was filming, so 420 to 520 and 750 to 8 o'clock. So that's weird. That's a 10 minute window on that last one. So we're back up in the upper lot. We're gonna look at the times one more time here. See if I can find where there's less of a glare. Probably can't, but so like uh, Forbidden Journey. Oh, it just changed it. So Nintendo World back to Virtual Lions. Uh, you get 120 minutes now on Mario Kart. Jurassic World's 10 minutes. Transformers 30, Mummy 15. You can see it's almost five o'clock on a holiday weekend Friday. So Forbidden Journey is 20, Hippogriff is 10, Ollivander's is 10, Studio Tour is 10, Secret Life of Pets, that one's a little one-off, it's 50, Despicable Me, 15, Simpsons, 25, I've never seen it that low, and Kung Fu Panda's 15. Declan said he's a Goomba. Isn't it over there? So not new as of this visit, of course, but just a uh, you know, a few weeks ago, they had the last special effects show. You can see it all covered up here as they're getting ready to tear down um, or at least redo it into some new attraction along with the animal actor show. So then here's the animal actor side. You can see it all covered up. There's the little kind of walls that you can't get through. And I'm sure they're just working on disassembling everything inside so then they can either, again, take down the buildings or repurpose them, whatever their, their master plan is for the area, so that way they can expand it. And here's what's probably my next tattoo, is Frankenstein. He has, he's stalking a, a kid. <laughs> oh, oh, he, he found me. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> That's excellent. It's funny how he freaked out the kids. <laughs> As if we needed further proof that Nintendo World is where the buzz is, there is no line in the Starbucks in the upper lot when this is normally backed up to here. And we just found out, or pointed out to me, well, there's Scooby. Oh, and there's, there's Doc coming. But more importantly, there's Dracula. <laughs> He's freaking out some people. Oh, he just looked at the camera, too. I heard a rumor that you're going to have a maze this year. Is there any truth to that? I actually tell you and let you live to tell others. I was certainly, I, I heard, I heard you might be facing off against, uh, uh, who's it, the Phantom. Phantom. That guy? That guy. Who do you think will win? Uh, you know, my money is always going to be on you, but maybe Frankenstein will crash it. We'll see, bro. All right. Well, fingers crossed. Why would you cross them? Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> All right. So that wraps up the night at Universal. You can see the sun's kind of going down behind me. We're going to hit the road before it takes forever to get home. But so on this sold out day, I don't dispute that it was sold out, but I suspect it was mostly for Super Nintendo World because the lines were non-existent almost all night. There were pockets of crowds, but for the most part, there was like not a lot of people in there. And we've been in here before when we were shoulder to shoulder, the entire park could not move basically, like sometimes around the holiday time. But we really hope you like this video. If so, please give us that thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. As always, please be kind and be real and join us on your next all day pass. Okay.